Uh, no, he, my father doesn't believe in any of the prophecies uh, in the New Testament. I don't think any of them. Uh, certainly doesn't think there's any any of the authorship except Paul in the New Testament is to any of the names according to who wrote them. Uh, yeah, he's pretty much believes exactly what you believe except he believed that Jesus rose bodily from the dead. Uh, as a sign. Uh, but he believes that we dump this body at death and we go on to a different into the spiritual realm or whatever it is but I think you missed the point you went to John uh, I'm talking about the order in which this it, the tale that grew in the telling was the title of it there's marks I'll do it again immediately coming out of the water he saw the heavens open and the spirit descending and, and the spirit and the, and the spirit like a dove descending upon him. Usually it's rendered descending upon him like a dove. We go to Matthew three sixteen. It's kind of funny this three sixteen is the intervals. Immediately coming out of the water, behold the heavens were opened, and he saw the Spirit of God descending as as a dove and lighting on him. And then we go to Luke, and it says the dove came down in bodily form. So the spirit descended like a dove, not a dove. Then we have it as a dove, and then we have it in the physical, in the embodiment of a dove. You can tell Mark is first, then Matthew, then Luke, in the order of them being written. Why do they put Matthew at the front of the gospel? front of the book because uh, it has the virgin birth story so you have descending on him like a dove and then you have as a dove and then you have in the bodily form of a dove so you can see the sequence of who's copying who in that it wasn't Luke copying Mark or you know that 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 Mark was first has the least amount of pro he almost has no he almost says nothing immediately he did this then immediately he did this and then immediately he did this and then immediately he did this and then there's not even a resurrection story at the end of it in the earliest ones well that's debatable some people say it's scroll or whatever then you have Matthew and then you have someone saying nah it's really Judaizing it reaction you have Luke which is a Gentile version and then John comes out of left field. I don't know where John. I don't think John relies on any of those. Uh, yeah, there could be been some. Uh, we know. Well, we know there's transposition of text between the the them being copied and recopied. But my whole point is evidence for Mark being earlier. And there's many texts like that. That Mark came first, then Matthew, then Luke. Uh, I think it's I think it's as obvious as that. Spirit descended like a dove. Wait. Oh yeah. No yeah, I heard him. He as a dove. And then you have somebody telling Oh, in the bodily form of a dove. It's a game of telephone kind of. Uh you have people that are familiar with these texts. Some can read, some can't read, they've heard them. It keeps getting moved around. Uh, the tale that grew in the telling. Uh, from the uh, secular perspective. <laughs> Again, I am not claiming to hold this opinion. I'm just using this as an argument. Uh, peace to you. Uh, but I think you missed the argument. And were you bringing Yahweh? That's not my God. Uh, my God is he who is. I am that I am. That is. If you mean Yah, when you mean Yahweh, if you mean that, yeah, I sure, yeah, I am that I am to be the existing one, who's not even a god, a god beyond the gods. That's why when I write, when I talk about my God, I don't even spell the word God. Put a symbol to go beyond. Um, peace to you.